What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Crimo. Today we are going with episode number 43. It's going to be another episode where we don't have any gameplay. We're just going to be going through some transfers. Since the last episode I have made a massive shortlist in the last kind of 20 minutes or so before the last episode was recorded. So today we are going to be going through these list of players. Probably trying to get some of them. I'm going to remove Hazard straight away just because we tried that in the last episode and it wasn't going to work. So we'll completely ignore that. But you guys can see the names here. I'll go through them one by one. Starting with Van de Wiel from PSG. Now, he would probably be an alright option, really. He's 79 overall. He'd be a good replacement for Debussy. He's very quick as well. So, straight away, I'm going to go in and inquire just to see what we can do with him. Martin Montoya, again, is another great player. And we will inquire about him as well. Again, I need to fill the right back spot from Debussy. So, either of these two would be perfect. And we obviously do have Dykemeyer and Callum Chambers still in the team as backups as well. So, it's all good. Centre-back wise, we don't need Rafael Varane anymore as we have brought in Laporte, so I'm quite fine with that. We went over Draxler and Marco Royce in the last episode, both players that I'd love to bring in. I don't know whether we'll be able to get Royce just because he is worth so much, and that depends whether or not I want to sell Walker, which I'm not too sure if I do at the moment, so we shall see. As for Cam, this is the main position we need to fill because I don't want Urzo anymore. Now, the main guy I would want is Mario Goetze. As unrealistic as it is, he would be fantastic. The problem with him is you can see the sort of rating he is, the sort of price range he's probably going to be worth. Now, I reckon it's going to be 70 to 80 million easily for apparently off between 35 million and 38. So maybe we could get him on the cheap. I mean, Urzel's worth that anyway. So if we could just offer up Urzel for Gertz, that would be ridiculous. I will try that. I very much doubt it will happen though. Isco is the next player on the list. One of the players that I would really like to have in the team if we can't get Gertz. Isco's a fantastic player. Obviously on this, he won't have four-star skills because we started the career mode before he got them. He's also a very well-rounded central midfielder and he can, excuse me, play out on the left as well. He's got the, pretty much the best work rates you can ask for and I think they might be better than Gertz's. They are. So Isco would be perfect as well. Again, we'll inquire about Isco, kind of see what sort of price range Real Madrid would want for Isco. Dries Mertens is the next person on the list. Again, a very quick cam. He does have the four-star skills as well, the four-star weak foot, and he can play on the wing. So he's he's an option for maybe left midfielder, if not for cam. So definitely going to keep him on my list, although he is 29, but that's not too much of a worry for me. And the last guy on the list is Henrik Mikitmik. Makita Ryan, Mkhitaryan, however you want to say it. He has been linked with Arsenal very much in real life. I'm not too sure if I want to bring him in, but I will definitely put in an inquiry anyway just to see. As for left wing, I only have really two players I've been looking at. The main one being Pedro. Now, Pedro is a fantastic player. I've used him in Ultimate Team this year. He is an absolute god. He, again, is four-star skills, five-star weak foot. He can play on the right wing as well, so he's definitely looking like a possibility if we decide to get rid of Walker. I'm tempted to go and put in an offer for him right now. And the last guy on the list is Stefan El Sharari or El Shah, however you want to say it. He, again, is a fantastic player. But to be honest, I have him and Pedro. He's injury-prone as well, so we'd definitely rather have Pedro in the team. And we will go in with an offer for Pedro. I don't know if we're going to get him, but if we could get him for a straight swap between him and Walcott, that would be pretty sick. And we will try it, because Walcott is 27, so we'll maybe do that plus 3 million, just to see what they say. And we will continue. And you can see Pedro is a squad rotation player at Barcelona, which is absolutely incredible, considering he is such a good player. And he should be easily be in the first team. We do have a friendly against Barca, though. So maybe that will do something. But you can see Van der Wiel, 12 million. I can deal with that. You know, that's a decent price for him. I mean, I don't really want to pay 12 mil for him. But we could attempt to pay a little bit less. Maybe 7.5. He'd be a great replacement for Matteo Debussy, who has now left the club. And as I said, I am being very strict on players. I'm selling players that aren't going to be in the team. And I don't really care, you know, who they are in real life, their statuses anymore. Although I am an Arsenal fan, I don't want to see Ozil go. He's going to go because of his stamina and he needs to be ruthless if we are going to get anywhere this season. So it is quite important. Montoya, 22 million straight away. I'm not paying that much for him. Isco, 43. Okay, that's not too bad. And 29.5 for Makita Ryan. So Montoya is probably not going to be an option just because I don't really want to pay 22 million for a right back. I know I paid that for Marcelo, who's a left back, but even so... Uh, Pedro, we're not interested in the play you've included in the deal and the cash market on his own is not enough. So what I'm going to try is just go back in with more money and Walcott and see if they suddenly end up being interested because Walcott is a great player. But I would love to get rid of him and bringing in Pedro would be great because Pedro has the four-star skills. He has a five-star weak foot. You know, he is the perfect replacement for Theo Walcott. He's not quite as quick, but, you know, he's still quick enough, that's for sure. So, again, uh, ooh, PSG have accepted the offer for Van der Wiel, so it looks like we might be able to get him into the team. His wages are incredibly high. 
that is a little bit of a pain in the ass. But he is going to be a crucial first team player for us and should be very, very good indeed. Um, if you increase the cash on to 2.5 million plus Meza Ozil, they will let Gertz go. Are you kidding me? That is ridiculous, guys. We are going to do that. I don't even care. Ozil for Mario Gertz. That is like a no brainer. You can see how be much better Gertz is than Ozil. I don't care. We are doing that. And was that today that we got that message? They did. Did they reject that offer again, or was offer we put in rejected? Um, Hector Bellerin out on loan. So if we can get Gertz, guys, holy damn! I mean, Ozil is decent, but Gertz is a hell of a lot better than Ozil. That's for sure. And for an extra two and a half million plus Ozil, I can do with that. Ozil's an only an eighty six as well. Gertz is an eighty nine. So that is pretty incredible. And I don't even know if I showed you the result against Barcelona. I'll do that now. This has been a great episode so far. If we can bring in even a couple of these players, drew there and we drew there as well. So, whew, this is this is a big episode, guys. We are spending a lot of cash, but I feel that it is necessary. So Barcelona again are just not interested in Walcott, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, I might try um, Royce in a minute, but it looks like contract episode. Van der Wiel is now in to the team. Welcome to the club. You are a brand new right back. Hopefully, he can be of decency anyway. You can see he is a very tidy little player from PSG as well. He is 28, but because we will probably be leaving this club soon enough, it won't matter too much. The defence now, I'm pretty happy with. You know, backup-wise, we've got Perrin and Reed and Gabriel for centre-back. Left-back, we've got Kolarov and Gibbs. Right-back, we've got Chambers and Dijkmaier and Jenkinson, who is going to be leaving. Goalkeeper's fine as well. So now, it mainly our main focus is getting rid of Ozil, possibly getting rid of Walcott, and um, that will be it pretty much. But I do want to change to a 4-3-3. For this season, I think I just I think I'm going to prefer the 4-3-3 over what we were doing, and just kind of playing it like that. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. Let me just get my controller charger. It's just down here on the floor because my controller is going to duck my eye. But here is the controller charger itself. So let's put that in. There we go. That's in. Sorry about the background noise. That's me. The team we're going with though. But as I said, if I can get rid of Walcott, that would be fantastic. But I mean. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, guys. Once Gertz is into the team, we pretty much any leftover cash can go towards trying to bring in a new left midfielder. So you do have Giovanni Dos Santos and Manzukic up front. So that's absolutely fine. Um, Ospina, again, I don't want to sell him. You know, he's a decent enough backup goalie. Nothing really too much to say about him. Don't want to sell him even if we could get maybe 12 million for him. And uh, do we offer up? Oh, shit. No, they did accept that. So we can offer up Gertz for a contract. Hopefully he'll come into the team. Imagine that. Mario Gertz uh, at Arsenal absolutely mental but it looks like Walcott is going to be a bit of a bugger to get rid of and it's probably because he's not as good as his overall says you know he doesn't have the th four star skills he doesn't have a very good week foot either I don't think so it may be hard to get rid of Walcott but what we will do is actually list him up we've got Gertzer holy shit I cannot believe that has even gone through that is absolutely crazy guys I cannot believe my luck honestly I mean Ozil's great but I mean you can see here he's he's not too good I, I don't like Ozil in this game. Um, you can see his his stamina is 66 and his strength is poor as well. So them two on its own just really puts me off using him. But we will list Walcott up and see if any offers come in and if we can raise some funds to maybe bring in Pedro. But look at that. Mario motherfucking Gertz, the World Cup winner in 2014, joins Arsenal. That is the craziest signing I've ever made, I think. Holy shit. I mean, look at him. His stamina is 71. His strength's a lot better than Ozil's. He is the perfect replacement. And look at them stats. He can also play centre forward, centre mid, and right mid. What a player. Now let's try and get some more players if we possibly can. By the way, guys, Walcott now has gone up to an 85. So hopefully we can get rid of him. And Goetze is injury prone, but hopefully that won't be too much of a worry. He is still a fantastic player and should be absolutely awesome. So let's see what happens with who have we got and have we got an offer in for anyone i can't remember if we have no we got to go and do the offer for um no 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 because we're going to end up in the first game of the bpl season i don't want to play that today i want to do that in the next episode so oh shit right um we may not finish this today but now we've brought in Goetze, we have 24 million and walcott to play with so potentially we could bring in anyone we want now i'm going to try it i'm going to try it guys it's not going to be healthy it's going to be hard i want neymar again I don't know why I want Neymar, so I'm going to attempt to sign him. It's going to be hard. It's going to be probably impossible, but 20 million plus Walcott, we're going to try it. It's not going to happen, but I'll do it anyway, just because I really want him. If not, though, I mean, I'm going to go in for Marco Royce. 
I think. Even though he is so damn generic, everyone signs Marco Royce, but there is a reason why they sign him, because he's an absolute tank. So, we will try and get him in. Um, so, he's worth a little bit more of a, a realistic amount, which is nice. Let's get... Look at Sanchez. Look at Walcott, though. 85. He just isn't my sort of player, unfortunately, with the, the skill moves. It puts me off a lot, but... Uh, who else do we have? So, Pedro now is probably going to be more of a realistic offer. Um... We could just keep Walcott. That's always an issue. Like I could just keep him because I've got the money to probably sign Pedro outright anyway. So if it comes to it, we'll just keep Walcott and try and sell him on at a, few, a later date. But the last sign that I'm going to try and make is Pedro. So we're just going to offer up twenty one point five million pounds. Come on, Barcelona! If he's a squad rotation player, surely you don't mind losing a couple of mil on him just for the sake of getting rid of him. You know, it's, it seems all a little bit crazy but let's see what happens this is nearing the end of this episode guys i do apologize it's been another fairly long episode again but the transfer window is always the most enjoyable time for us so it's always nice to do it as a live commentary so you guys can get the feel of stuff as it goes on and my kind of thoughts as we progress through the transfer window but it looks like we're not going to get anyone into the club before the spurs game um yeah so royce is going to cost literally an arm and a leg which doesn't surprise me i mean we could offer up 24 million i'll do that see what they say but I'd rather have Pedro if we can get him cheap, you know. I'd rather have Pedro and keep Walcott than sell Walcott and get Royce for that amount of money because it means we don't have very much money left. Um, so Neymar, just definitely not, definitely not happening. I, I can't afford 43 million plus Walcott. That is just ridiculous amount of money to be spending. And money we don't have. I don't have a financial takeover either and I don't want to use it because I don't think we need it. But they've accepted for Pedro. So potentially, guys, in the next episode... Pedro may become an Arsenal player now. That would mean Walcott leaves the team, but I will show you guys the team that we're going to be rocking with to start Season 3, and it is a pretty beefy team. I mean, just look at that lineup. It is looking very sexy, and the, even better when you put that in there as well. Giovanni Dos Santos is a fucking phenomenal right now. But yeah, that's the team we're going to be rocking with to start. Kadir has now gone up to an 87 as well, so that midfield is absolutely stacked. I mean, the defence is stacked as well. I know the whole defence is not Arsenal. The only remaining Arsenal players in this team is Sanchez and Ramsey, and that's for a reason, because the Arsenal players that were here already just weren't good enough. So we are kind of going a bit crazy with signing, but you can see the bench here. We've got a lot of players in the team right now, and a lot of these players will be leaving on loan, hopefully, because we've just got so many players that I don't need here. Um, Mario Mandzukic and Welbeck on the bench you can see this team is just looking absolutely phenomenal I'm, I'm really pleased with the signings that we've made this season I mean we are going to have to probably get rid of some players just because we don't have the room in the team anymore I mean you can see look at all these players we've got there's some good players sitting on here like uh, Morgan Schneider who I'm trying to get rid of and you know Chambers, Perrin as well there's a lot of players we potentially don't need so we shall see what happens in the next few episodes, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, if we could smash five likes, as always, that would be absolutely fantastic. And I'll speak to you guys in the next episode where it won't be a live commentary and it will be a game where we do post-commentary and we play our first game of the season against Spurs. Thank you guys, and I'll speak to you later.